show you how to change out the batteries on these things and when they don't work. I have the 5T515. You put it right here. You do all the setup based on the instruction manual and you'll do code. And we'll wait to hear if it comes up with an error. So it came up with an error. Now the fact that all of these started going at once I quickly determined through the help of support that it had to be the battery. And this is the battery for the unit. All right? When you pop it out, be careful. That black cable, that's the antenna. So I'm going to push it out through here. These batteries give off an odor. And this is the battery you will need, a 1632. You can buy these at Walmart, Home Depot. Lowe's, any of your favorite places. I'm going to stick it in. By the way, I don't use the anti-theft things on these. I never heard of any of them being stolen. All you need is a screwdriver to unscrew it out. Tighten it back in, make it snug. We're going to go back again, right here. We're going to press code. And there it is. It read it. So, I'll go to the next tire, in the same situation, I'll put this one next to it, I'll hit code, wait to see if it reads it, came back with an error, same situation, and the fact that it was, I have six of them, the fact that Five of the six went at once. It was quickly to determine that it was a battery issue. This is the battery. This is the new battery. Again, slide it into the unit. Close it up. Very easy to change the battery on it. Put it back by the setup button or the set button. Do the code again. There it is. Beautiful. It read it. So that's all you have to do and then once you put it on the tire, um, the pressure will start reading properly. FYI, my unit is a couple of years old. The new units, you have to put on the tire to trigger them. But to make this link, you don't. You just press the code key, pick the tire you want, um, and there it is. It reads it for you. All right, that's it. Enjoy. If you like it, click like and if you want to subscribe so here we are after the battery's been changed I'm gonna set this one up I'm gonna hit code leave it right there it read it I'm going to go put it on to the tire you'll hear some air coming out and you heard the beep meaning it read it. Now we're good. I just got to set my high-low threshold, which I didn't do. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video.